Hello and welcome to Chem 130 Online. My name is Gino Romeo, your instructor. This video is intended to help you navigate through the course. I'd like to point out the course number you see at the top of the screen may not be for your course. This video is intended for all Chem 130 sections. I'll begin by clicking on this link, which brings us to a document that shows the structure of the course. There are two main components, the lab and the lecture. Let's focus on the lab. You will complete labs by either performing experiments from a kit you will purchase from hands-on labs. You'll submit data photos from the experiments you perform and answer related questions online in the HOL or hands-on lab platform. The other part of the lab experience is worksheets you complete that I provide through my website. Also, there'll be a brief post-lab quiz related to the worksheets. The quizzes will be in Canvas. The other part of the course is the lecture. You will learn the content of the course through various means. One is my lecture videos. I produced over 100 lecture videos on all of the topics you need to know and be tested on for the course. You'll have homework in OWL. OWL is an online platform similar to my math lab. And with access to OWL, you get an ebook. I'll also have regular evening meetings. In this semester, I'll have them on Tuesday evening from 6 to 8 p.m. These are not required, but I recommend that you attend if you have the time. Most of the lab activities will reinforce the content you'll be tested on. If you get stuck on a topic or have trouble answering some questions in OWL, don't hesitate to email me as soon as possible. If you have a question in OWL, email me directly through OWL from the problem. You'll be tested with online chapter quizzes in Canvas. Also, there'll be a midterm and final exams in person on campus. I've created study guides so you can prepare for your quizzes and exams. These study guides are available through my website and are learning objectives for each assessment. The study guides essentially are the questions rewritten as learning objectives. All of these hyperlinks that I'm hovering over will bring you to my home page. This hyperlink at the bottom will lead you to the OWL website for registration and purchase. You could also purchase an access code through the bookstore. Purchasing it directly through OWL or Cengage removes the step of entering an access code and a course key. I'll first go to the Syllabus and Study Guides. Clicking on any one of these study guides will bring you to a folder that contains the study guides for the quizzes, midterm, and final. Let's take a look at the final exam study guide. As I mentioned earlier, all of the study guides are learning objectives, and they are essentially the questions rewritten as a specific learning objective. So as you're going through your work in OWL, I encourage you to have the study guides alongside and determine where in OWL and where in the ebook you could find information to address each of these learning objectives. Next, let's take a look at the schedules. The first schedule I included is your Canvas chapter quiz and online OWL homework schedule. Each of these quizzes is in Canvas. Each quiz will be completed in Canvas and the associated OWL homework is a separate login to the OWL platform. This schedule shows you which lab activities to complete and when they are due, and the source of the lab activity. As you can see, all of the worksheets have hyperlinks to documents that I've created. Let's now take a look at the quiz tutorial videos and documents. Let's take a look at quiz one, for example. The learning objectives in the quiz study guide are directly associated to the videos that I produced. 
Most of these videos are links to YouTube. The PowerPoints are unnarrated, and I use them in class for lectures. I have also used some of the slides in these PowerPoint files in the videos that I've made. The content of the course is broken up into modules. Each module has a set of learning objectives, a page to point you to study resources, a hyperlink to worksheets, a link to the post lab quiz, a link to the OWL login page, and the particular chapter quiz in Canvas. You can access some of the items in each module by clicking on the Assignments or Quizzes tab.